day, we have to make tough decisions. Trying to get this budget right because everything is on the line. The final 48 hours of budget negotiations as the city tries to meet the needs of New Yorkers during a pandemic and an economic crisis. And for nearly a week now, demonstrators have camped outside City Hall saying they won't leave until the budget also cuts NYPD funding. Today, the mayor responded. My office presented to the city council a plan that would achieve a billion dollars in savings for the NYPD and shift resources to young people, to communities, in a way that would help address a lot of the underlying issues that we know are the cause of so many problems in our society. The NYPD Patrol Officers Union criticized the plan, saying there will be fewer cops on the street and, quote, the mayor and the city council have surrendered our city to lawlessness. Sources tell PIX11 the latest draft of the budget would cancel the incoming class of police recruits and move school safety officers from the NYPD to the Department of Education. You know, the police department is here to do law enforcement work. They're not here to do be social workers, to be guidance counselors. Half a billion dollars in capital funding will be shifted to youth recreation centers and NYCHA developments. Councilman Donovan Richards is working to secure money in the budget for the summer youth jobs program for teens. Everybody's talking about our young people are out on the streets, but evidently they need things to do. They need jobs. While the mayor previously suggested 22,000 city workers may be laid off to avert financial disaster. Another hard line for many of us in the council, we don't want to see any city workers laid off and lose their jobs and get pink slips.